When you've finished setting up prepayments, we can look at creating prepayment invoices from sales and purchase orders. We can use our default percentages for each sales or purchase line, or we can change the values on the invoice as we need. Let's have a look at raising a prepayment invoice for a sales order. We'll create a new one for our customer, first of all. And our customer will be 20,000 Sanangorian. For this customer, uh, I've previously set them up with a prepayment percentage of 20%, and that will be used for this demonstration. If we go to the prepayment tab on this order, we can see the prepayment percentage has automatically been populated with a value of 20%. Um, we can also look to change this field if necessary. This percentage is only copied to lines that do not copy the default prepayment percentage of the item. There's a field here also called compress prepayment. When selected, lines will be combined on the invoice if they make use of the same general ledger account for prepayments. This is based on their general posting setup and or if they have the same dimensions. If we leave it blank, Business Central will create a prepayment invoice with one line for each sales order line that has a percentage. Let's fill in our lines here for now. Our customer will be looking to purchase our item. Here we are, 1896S from our location blue for a quantity of 10. The prepayment percentage on this line is the value on the header under the prepayment fast tab. So that's 20 there, and we can see 20 there. The prepayment percentage field may not automatically be visible on the sales line. So you may need to add it in using the settings personalize function up in the cog at the top. We can edit the per line value here if we wish to apply a different percentage for a specific line. If we have a default prepayment percentages set up for this item, Business Central would use that value over the value that we found in the header. If we want to apply one prepayment percentage value to all lines on the order, we can go and edit the prepayment percentage field here under the prepayment tab after we're done filling in our lines. So with our line set as it is, we can look at how much we expect to pay by going to the statistics for this order. And we can do that by going order and statistics. We can adjust the prepayment amount if we open the relevant tab on this page. Uh, and if prices including VAT is selected, um, we can edit that field as well, the prepayment amount including VAT. Changing the prepayment amount field will distribute the new value that we enter here evenly across all the lines on the sales order, except for lines that have a zero in their prepayment percentage field. With this done, we can now look at posting the prepayment invoice. And to do this, we can go to more options, actions, posting, and under prepayment, we have post prepayment invoice. And doing this, we can hit yes. And that's the prepayment invoice posted. To have a look at this prepayment invoice now, oh, sorry, we can go to navigate prepayment and prepayment invoices, and we can see that the invoice has been posted just as we expected it to be.